going back to the beginning, we, um, a male body was located in the Logan River at Logan Reserve at Henderson Park uh, yesterday morning about 9.15. Uh, that man has subsequently been identified as uh, Mr Julian Neuendorf. Uh, he's a 38-year-old from Mitchelton. Um, our inquiries to date uh, have established that um, the victim did sustain a number of gunshot wounds. Uh, we believe that this occurred probably on the evening of Thursday, uh, probably um, between, say, 7 and, and uh, 9 p.m. And we're appealing for any member of the public who has knowledge of the incident, obviously, but also anybody who has uh, any information on the movements of um, Mr Neuendorf over the last few days, anybody who saw anything suspicious in the area uh, of Logan Reserve um, on Thursday night, and, uh, and also uh, we're, we're trying to identify also anybody who may have been um, setting off any fireworks in the area that night also. What, what significance do they have, Dave? Uh, we, we, just, we have identified some witnesses who heard um, gunshots on the night, but we also believe that some fireworks may have uh, been set off. So we're just trying to um, eliminate fireworks in, as opposed to the gunshots. And where's the investigation at today? I know there's a lot of SES out there and, and your guys. What are they doing? Yes, we have, um, we have police, we have forensic police, uh, divers and SES at the scene today. They're, they're obviously uh, conducting a, a thorough search of the, uh, of the um, area around the boat. The car that been, has been found, that is Mr Neuendorf's car? Yes, the, the car that was at the boat ramp is the victim's car. So we're also interested in anybody who can um, give us any details on the movements of that vehicle over the last few days too. You can see it's a fairly distinctive vehicle. So uh, we'd like to know, or like to speak with anybody who's uh, seen that vehicle over the last few days. Do you know what they were doing down there? No. Was the victim known to police? Yes, um, the victim is known to police. Um, he he has had a uh, um, involvement with police over a number of years, and he does have a few questionable associates. Um, so that's obviously one line of inquiry we're following. Is there any uh, CCTV in the area that may have noticed any cars around, sort of? In that park area? Uh, well, one of our routine inquiries is try to identify any CCTV uh, in the area. As you know, it's a very rural area, um, so we're, we're continuing our inquiries in that respect. Did oh. you believe that he was killed there? Uh, at this point in time, we believe that that's where the incident occurred, yes. Is, is there any evidence in its early stage that may indicate what they were doing there? No. Do you know how many people may have been down there? Have any suspects at this stage? Uh, no, it's very early in the inquiry, as you can imagine, um, uh, and, and that's one of the reasons why we're appealing to the public. Uh, in these first few days, we like to gather as much information as we can. Uh, we need to determine his movements, and uh, and in particular, why was he in the Logan area on that night? He's from Mitchelton. Why was he in the Logan area? So we're, we're appealing to any member of the public who saw anything there that night that looked suspicious. Any member of the public who knows uh, Mr. Neuendorf and uh, and his movements over the last few days, and, and his vehicle. Do you know when he was last seen? Uh, he was seen at Mitchelton earlier on the Thursday. You say he has some questionable associates. Do you know if he's got any bike with him? No, I don't. Um, I, I'm not aware of any um, any immediate links to any OMCGs. And uh, but again, that's just a, another line of inquiry we'll follow. And how is his family? They've obviously been notified. Is it a bit of a shock for them? Well, of course. Um, how are they reacting? Uh, they're reacting the way you'd expect they would react when their, their son or their father or uh, partner has been, has been murdered. Is he married or did he have any children? He, um, to my understanding, he has a partner and, uh, and the partner has a, has a daughter. That's not of his own? No. Can you tell us any more about him? Uh, what he does? Mm -hmm. or no, I think that's, that's probably about it. Um, yeah. And that's a part of the investigation is to actually um, prepare a profile on him, mm -hmm. on his life, on his movements, and, uh, and again, that's one of the reasons we're seeking public assistance. Um, do police have any idea what sort of firearm was used? No, not at this point. That, that will hopefully become clearer as the investigation continues. Has the relation been recovered from Marizia? Uh, no, not to my knowledge, but the, that has not been completed as yet. Can you say where he was shot? Uh, well, we believe, at this point in time, we believe that the incident occurred there at the boat ramp. I mean, cover the body? Um, no, I'm not prepared to okay. discuss further the actual, uh, any more information in relation to the injuries themselves. Mm -hmm. And his criminal history, was that uh, uh, drug related? Uh, he has an assorted cr criminal history. But it would be fair to say the drug 
and among that assortment. Uh, well, let's, let's just say he has, a, he has a varied criminal history over a number of years. Is there any reason you think this is, could be related to any other uh, Luther murders like the one involving the uh, Saudi national down the Gold Coast? No, no. no. Is there anything else, Dave? Are you happy with that? No, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'd, I'd, just, I'd just like to sort of reinforce to you to push that public appeal. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, quite often when these things hit the news, uh, they, they cover certain points and forget the public appeal. We're particularly interested in anybody who saw anything in that Logan Reserve area on the Thursday night that looked suspicious. Anybody who saw his vehicle uh, and anybody who knows anything of his movements over the last few days or anything of his background um, or anything, obviously, in relation to this incident itself.